A union of power and prestige, the royal wedding portrait of William II and Mary Stuart in the grandeur of 1641, a celebrated Flemish painter, Anthony van Dyck, immortalized a momentous occasion in a masterpiece that transcends time. Commissioned by Frederick Henry, this exquisite portrait captures the tender youthfulness of William II, Prince of Orange, and his bride, Mary Stuart. The painting is imbued with symbols of power and prestige. William II stands slightly before Mary to emphasize the dynastic significance for the House of Orange. The young prince's attire is resplendent in rich reds, his posture exudes confidence yet respect towards his bride. Mary Stuart's royal lineage is accentuated by her position on the Dexter side, a place of honor. Adorned in an opulent gown that sparkles with elegance and grace, she wears a large diamond brooch, a gift from William as an emblem of their union. Their hands meet tenderly, William's fingers gently encircle Mary's hand showcasing her wedding ring an eternal symbol of their union. This poignant moment encapsulates their youthful innocence yet underscores the political machinations that orchestrated this alliance. The marriage was not just a union of two souls but also an intricate dance of power politics. For the House of Orange Nassau, it was a triumph, an elevation in prestige through alliance with English royalty at a time when alliances were forged and broken on whims. Yet for every triumph there lies complexity, from the perspective of House Stuart, it was seen as mesalliance following earlier aspirations for alliances with Spanish royalty. But amidst political turmoil within England's borders, King Charles I saw opportunity, leveraging this union to influence Calvinist Scots who had occupied Northeast England. Van Dyck masterfully intertwines these complex narratives within this portrait, capturing not just individuals but embodying political aspirations and familial legacies intertwined within threads of power politics. Across Europe's tumultuous landscape during that era, 